Today, we will delve into the fascinating world of dynamic contrast enhanced magnetic resonance imaging, DCEMRI, and explore its various applications in medical imaging. DCEMRI is a powerful technique that allows us to assess tissue perfusion and pharmacokinetic parameters, providing valuable insights into various diseases and treatment responses. In this comprehensive script, we will discuss 12 key topics related to DCEMRI, ranging from fundamental principles to advanced analysis techniques and specific clinical applications. To truly understand DCEMRI, it is important to grasp the principles of quantitative pharmacokinetic modeling. This approach involves developing mathematical models that describe the distribution and elimination of contrast agents within the body. By analyzing the time intensity curves obtained from DCEMRI images, we can estimate key pharmacokinetic parameters, such as vascular permeability, blood flow, and volume fractions. These parameters provide valuable information about tissue microcirculation and pathological changes, enabling us to assess tumor angiogenesis, inflammation, and treatment responses. In the field of tumor characterization, accurately measuring and analyzing perfusion curves is essential. Advanced techniques, such as maximum slope modeling, TOS modeling, and extended TOS modeling, allow for quantitative evaluation of tumor perfusion using dynamic contrast enhanced MRI, DCEMRI. These methods enable the calculation of parameters like transfer constant, trends, extravascular extracellular volume fraction, VE, and plasma volume, VP. By combining these parameters with anatomical imaging, a comprehensive assessment of tumor vascularity can be achieved, aiding in tumor grading, aggressiveness prediction, and treatment planning. Dual flip angle acquisition strategies represent an innovative approach that aims to improve the accuracy and precision of DCEMRI measurements. By acquiring images with two different flip angles, we can obtain more reliable estimates of T1 relaxation times, which are crucial for accurate quantification of contrast agent concentration. This technique allows for better correction of T1 relaxation effects, reducing potential errors and enhancing the robustness of perfusion analysis. Dual flip angle acquisition strategies have shown promising results in liver, brain, and prostate cancer imaging. Breast cancer treatment response assessment is a critical step in patient management. DCEMRI has emerged as a valuable tool in this context, providing insights into tumor vascular changes before and after therapy. By quantifying parameters such as tumor volume, trends, and VE, DCEMRI can help determine treatment efficacy, identify non-responding lesions, and guide personalized treatment modifications. Ongoing research is focused on developing robust biomarkers derived from DCEMRI to predict response to targeted therapies and optimize treatment strategies. In the field of neuro-oncology, DCEMRI plays a crucial role in the assessment of brain tumor perfusion. By analyzing parameters such as relative cerebral blood volume, RCBV, cerebral blood flow, CBF, and mean transit time, MTT, we can uncover valuable information about tumor microvasculature, tumor grade, and prognosis. Moreover, DCEMRI can aid in differentiating tumor recurrence from treatment-related changes, assisting clinicians in making informed decisions regarding further interventions or surveillance. In DCEMRI, the arterial input function, AIF, extraction is important for perfusion analysis. Various methods like manual selection and automated techniques based on signal intensity or pattern recognition are used. Accurate AIF extraction greatly affects perfusion parameters and is an area of active research. High temporal resolution DCEMRI allows us to assess cardiac function by capturing rapid contrast agent dynamics in the heart muscle. This technique provides valuable information about blood flow, perfusion reserve, and viability in the heart. It can help diagnose conditions like ischemic heart disease, cardiomyopathies, and myocardial infarction. The evaluation of renal perfusion is essential in diagnosing and monitoring renal diseases. DCEMRI provides a non-invasive method for assessing renal perfusion by characterizing parameters such as cortical and medullary blood flow, glomerular filtration rate, GFR, and tubular transit time. This information can help identify early signs of renal dysfunction, differentiate between acute and chronic kidney diseases, and guide therapeutic interventions. Furthermore, DCEMRI can be utilized in preoperative planning for kidney transplantation, aiding in graft selection and long-term prognostic evaluation. In neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, measuring cerebral blood flow through dynamic contrast-enhanced MRI, DCEMRI, can help detect early changes. By analyzing perfusion maps and kinetic parameters, we can identify regions with reduced blood flow, track disease progression, and evaluate treatment effectiveness. 
DCEMRI shows promise for enhancing diagnosis and treatment outcomes in neurodegenerative diseases. Liver fibrosis is a common consequence of chronic liver diseases and poses a significant health burden worldwide. DCEMRI offers a non-invasive approach to assess liver fibrosis by evaluating perfusion-related parameters such as hepatic arterial perfusion fraction, HAPF, hepatic blood flow, HBF, and portal venous flow, PVF. Moreover, DCEMRI can be instrumental in monitoring treatment response, particularly in the context of antifibrotic therapies. Early studies have shown promising results in differentiating early-stage fibrosis from cirrhosis, aiding in disease staging and guiding therapeutic interventions. Distinguishing between glioblastoma and radiation necrosis is often challenging but crucial for appropriate treatment planning. Quantitative DCE MRI analysis has emerged as a valuable tool in this context, allowing for the assessment of parameters such as relative cerebral blood volume, RCBV, time to peak, TTP, and transfer constant, trends. These parameters can help differentiate these two entities by providing insights into vascularity, neoangiogenesis, and tissue perfusion. Accurate differentiation improves patient outcomes by facilitating targeted therapies, reducing unnecessary surgeries, and minimizing treatment-related morbidity. Prostate cancer detection and characterization remain significant challenges in clinical practice. DCEMRI has emerged as a promising imaging modality for prostate cancer, enabling the visualization of tumor microvasculature, perfusion patterns, and spatial extent. By analyzing parameters like TRINS, KEP, and VE, DCEMRI can assist in accurate tumor localization, staging, and risk stratification. Additionally, ongoing research aims to establish DCEMRI as a tool for monitoring treatment response and guiding focal therapies, improving patient management and outcomes in prostate cancer care. Dynamic Contrast Enhanced MRI, DCEMRI, is a powerful tool used in many medical fields. It helps to evaluate cancer treatment response, analyze brain tumors, and assess organ perfusion. Continuous advancements in DCEMRI offer opportunities to improve disease diagnosis, treatment planning, and therapeutic monitoring, benefiting patients. Staying updated on these developments allows medical professionals to optimize patient care.